All right, praise the Lord. Today's word of the day. Today's word of the day comes from the book of Philippians, chapter 2, verses 14 and 15. Philippians, chapter 2, verses 14 and 15. Do all things without complaining and disputing, that you may become blameless and harmless, children of God without fault in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation among whom you shine as light in the world. Amen. Praise the Lord. Do all things without complaining and disputing, that you may become blameless and harmless, children of God without fault in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, among whom you shine as light in the world. Amen. Praise the Lord. All right. Uh, complaining, grumbling, and... Uh, uh, disputing and all of that stuff that doesn't come from God. And that's, that's the way the world functions, but that's not how God functions. He wants us to be blameless, harmless, and to separate it so people see us react differently than the rest of the world. Exodus chapter 16, I immediately thought of this, uh, verses 7 and 8. In the morning you shall see the glory of the Lord, for he hears your complaints against the Lord. But what are we, Moses and Aaron, that you complain against us? Also Moses said, this shall be seen when the Lord gives you meat to eat in the evening and the morning bread to the full. For the Lord hears your complaints, which you make against him. And what are we? Your complaints are not against us, but against the Lord. Amen. So when we complain and grumble about our situation, uh, or maybe even whoever God is using to lead us or whatever the case, we're not really complaining against the people we may think we are, but we're complaining against God because God places everyone where he, they, he, he has them be for everyone's benefit. So when we're not happy with our circumstances and we complain, we're really complaining to God instead of what we think we're complaining against. And we obviously don't want to do that. Praise the Lord. Ephesians chapter 4, verses 31 and 32 says, Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be kind to one another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. In James 3, verse 17, but the wisdom that is from above is first, first pure, then peaceable, then gentle, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits without partiality and without hypocrisy. That's the fruit of the Spirit. That's what all that comes from God. It's totally the opposite of the way of this world. Amen. And so before I finish this, I just want to give a testimony because I didn't know this was going to be the word of the day. And last night, I was already prepared to go to war uh, with uh, a, my, my, my wife's car. I had a problem. I brought it to the shop. And instead of, yeah, it was one of the tires, but it was a problem that they knew would happen with all the tires, but they only fixed one of them. And sure enough, the problem came back in another tire. And I was planning on going back there and putting my foot down and telling him how it was going to be. They were going to do all the tires and, uh, and, uh, or else and I would, you know, just kind of be the boss and tell them what they're going to do. And God spoke to me last night and said, you will not do that. You will let me do whatever I need to do. And you're going to show this stuff, peaceable, gentle, pure, willing to yield, full of mercy and good fruits without partiality and hypocrisy, forgiveness and love. And then I get this word as well for all of us this morning. So I'm not going over there to act like the world saying, you didn't do it right the first time. Now, Lord willing, he'll give me the grace to go in there and just be kind and loving and patient and let God, let them do the work the way it needs to be. Maybe he wanted me to go back because somebody there needs a word. Who knows? But God knows what he's doing. Praise the Lord for that. Thank you, Lord, for stopping me from acting like the world. Praise the Lord. So, Heavenly Father, we thank you that with this word today. Help us not complain against you or against people or have all this stuff. that, that we, All we got to do is turn on the TV or whatever and see that the world is all about fighting and complaints and arguing and 
all that stuff, but that's not who you are. You are peaceful and gentle and loving and yielding, and we want to represent you, but we need your help, Lord, because without it, our flesh would take over and we'll be just like the world. We want you to use us as lights in this world, and so we ask you to help us with this, including my appointment today, for your glory, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that is our word of the day. Praise the Lord.